In this video, I'm going to present a simple and easy to follow method of proving that cos 3x is 4 cos cubed x minus 3 cos x. And now the first step is to do something quite clever, but which is actually fairly obvious when you see it. Now, obviously 3x is the same as 2x plus another x. And what that allows us to say is that cos 3x is the same as cos 2x plus x. This may seem simple, but it allows us to use a very powerful identity. And that identity is that cos a plus b can be written in this form. Now, if we let a equal 2x and then b equal x, we can do this substitution. And this simplifies things considerably and helps us head in the direction of the answer. Now, obviously, from the very first line, we can see that the cos 2x plus x is simply cos 3x. So we can replace it with that. Now we've got something that we can work with. The next step is to use some other identities. So here we've got the cos 2x and the sine 2x. And we can use double I angle formulas to simplify those and help head in the direction of getting the proof that we're looking for. So sine 2x can be written like this using a simple identity. And then cosine x is also equal to another identity. And I've color-coded these to make it easy to see the substitution. So I'm going to replace the cos 2x with the red text. And I'm going to replace the sine 2x with the uh, green text. And then we can do that simple substitution. Now we've removed all of the double angles. We're not having to deal with the 3x's. We're not having to deal with 2x's. We've got everything down to x. And that is going to make things considerably simpler to deal with. The next step is we need to tidy up this expression. So we've got this expression here, and obviously we've got things that need to be multiplied out and things that need to be combined. So we can multiply this one out here. So you've got two cos squared x multiplied by cos x, and you've got the minus one multiplied by cos x, and then here you've got a sine x and a sine x, so that's gonna give you a, a sine squared x. So we've got the sine squared x here, and then we do the multiplying out as before. Here we've got this sine squared x that is a bit of a problem. So we can use a simple identity. You may remember that cos squared x plus sine squared x equals 1. So if you rearrange that, you can say that sine squared x is 1 minus cos squared x. So we can replace the sine squared x with 1 minus cos squared x. So I've showed that substitution there in red. Then we have something that needs to be multiplied out. And you have to pay attention to the minus minuses. So we've got the minus 2 cos x times plus 1. And then we've got minus 2 cos x times minus cos squared x. That's minus minus is going to give a plus. So that's why I get the plus um, cos cubed x here. Now we can look at what we've got all together. We've got a minus cos x and a minus 2 cos x. That's going to combine to give minus 3 cos x. And we've got 2 cos cubed x, another 2 cos cubed x, so they're going to both combine to give 4 cos cubed x. And there we have the final answer. So hopefully this was nice and easy to follow and helped you understand how this identity can be proved. So if this video was helpful to you, please like and subscribe. And finally, thank you very much for watching.